You're standing outside Christchurch Spitalfields. Miles Ogborn is Professor of Geography at Queen Mary University of London. This church is one of the huge total, really, of 50 new churches that are planned in the early 18th century under an act of 1711 to really put the Church of England into places where it's felt it's not effectively acting. Places like Spitalfields, in Greenwich, Deptford, on the Strand, in Bloomsbury. And the aim is to bring the Church of England to what are called the godless thousands who inhabit these parishes, because these people are, in the main, new migrants to London, and it's these fringe areas that they are finding to live. So a commission is set up, overseen by the great English architects, Sir Christopher Wren and Vambra, and they employ a range of architects, Gibbs, Archer, and of course, Nicholas Hawksmore. And it's probably Hawksmore's contribution to this that's best known. And I would say it's Christchurch Spitalfields that is the most dramatic. It was paid for by a tax on coal coming into London. The black stuff was the main source of energy, but it had been creating awful pollution for the best part of 50 years. This is John Evelyn writing in 1661. Her inhabitants breathed nothing but an impure and thick mist, accompanied by a fuliginous and filthy vapour, which renders them obnoxious to a thousand inconveniences, corrupting the lungs and disordering the entire habit of their bodies, so that catars, coughs and consumptions rage more in this one city than in the whole earth besides. We're heading down Fournier Street next, which runs along the side of Christchurch. Stop at the junction with Wilkes Street. There we'll find out more about a wave of 18th century immigrants from across the Channel who left their mark on the East End. <laughs> 